Hi there, my name's Andy Young and I'm one of the automotive lecturers down at Unitech in Auckland, New Zealand. This is one of my basic skills videos and I'm going to show you in this video very quickly how to check the steering head bearings on a motorcycle. Now this is another one of those warrant checks when you take your motorcycle for a warrant in this country or an MOT in England then the, the guy that checks the bike over will be checking the bearing set that connects the front forks, the, the triple clamps um, to the forks. There's some bearings that allow the whole thing to pivot in the frame and if they're rough um, or there's movement then either way it's a fail. And what you'll probably need to do is to grab a mate because you need to jack up the bike and get them to hold the bike whilst you actually grab hold of the forks and do the checks. I'm fortunate enough to have a hoist. It took me a long time to get one, but uh, I have a hoist and uh, it makes life a lot easier for me to, to check, do these checks. Now, if we do find any play, and I've no idea, this is, this is my bike. Uh, it hasn't been used for about five months, which is diabolical, I know. Sacrilege, in fact, but um, I'm just going to give it the once over before I get it back on the road for tomorrow. So, um, here we go. If we find any faults, then I'll be doing a separate video, and there will be one at some point anyway, on how to install new headset bearings. Right, so job number one is to get the, the front wheel airborne. Make sure it's nice and tight in the clamp at the back. Yep. And to do that, we can go... I'll put it all down, I think. the wheel bearings while we're on actually. So if you first of all hold the bottom, bottom one of the forks, spin the wheel and you're listening and you're feeling at the same time. If you can feel any, any vibrations through the fork or you can hear any rough noises, roughness, then you know that one of the bearings is shot. You can also put the wheel into lock and just check the wheel for any kind of play between the fork, between the fork and the rim itself. And all that feels really good, and I'm pretty confident the front wheel bearings are good on this bike. Now, as regards the headstock bearings, the headstock are the bearings right up here that allow the forks to pivot in the frame. And first of all, we want to make sure that there's no there's damn garage doors, there's no roughness throughout the whole travel of that bearing. And lock pretty much to almost lock. Okay. And that's all really good. It's nice and free. That's not the whole story though. We need to make sure that there's no play as well. So to do that, you get hold of the both forks and you pull them and push them away from yourself. So you pull them towards yourself and then away. And you're moving them front to back to see if you can feel any kind of movement, any, any knocking at all. Now, if there is knocking, it could be that bearing up there or it could be the bushes in your forks themselves. So what you can do is you can get someone to do that for you, you can show them how to do that. You can put your hand between the, the lower triple clamp and the frame and feel if there's any movement there. This bike doesn't have any actually, it's in really good order. There's no, no movement on the forks, no movement on the, uh, on the bearing set for the headstock as well. So there you go, that's how you check. Now if we had found play in the forks, then there will be a video showing you how to rebuild the front set of forks and uh, that's, that'll be in the future, give it a few weeks and uh, if there's been play in the top bearing set you may be able to adjust that normally it's new bearings but sometimes you can get away with just adjusting it and the play goes away and the bearing hasn't got notchy but usually you do end up putting new bearings in there and there'll be a video on how to fit new bearings and how to adjust them up properly because there is a preload on most of those bearings. If they're a taper roller bearing, they'll have a preload. So there you go. That's how to check the, well, we've covered two things in this video. We checked how to check front wheel bearings on a motorcycle. 
and also how to check those uh, the steering stock or the headset bearings we call those um, for roughness and of course play both of which are a warrant of fitness fail or an MOT fail in the UK. It's a really simple task but you do have to have the bike raised off the ground there's no way you can check either of those bearing sets properly with the weight of the bike actually acting on that bearing set. It just doesn't work. So you'll need a, some kind of hoist or a jack and a mate to hold the bike for you. Uh, you. You should do these kind of checks on a regular basis. Don't just wait for the next uh, warrant of fitness check to come along before you, you get told there's a problem. You know, this is sort of periodic maintenance. You should be doing it on a regular basis. If you have any questions or comments on the video, then please leave them down the bottom. If you enjoyed the video and you found it actually helpful, which I hope hopefully you did, then uh, please do subscribe to the channel and you'll get notifications as and when new videos get uploaded to the channel. And that happens on a regular basis, at least two or three videos a week, minimum. Uh, and we cover motorbikes, cars, ATVs, I, I do all that kind of stuff. Okay, my name's Andy Young and I'm an automotive lecturer for Unitech in Auckland, New Zealand. And uh, well, that's the end of another video. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Over and out.